video we're carrying on where we left off from the previous video looking at pandemonium these are the minis that we're looking at now they come in a big um, resealable bag and there are quite a few of them so let us let's take a little bit of time just to ponder the amount of plastic that we have here just ponder it ponder 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 it because we have a lot to get through in this video how I'm going to sort these out I don't know but let's have a look at the hero miniatures first of all these are the ones that are brownish in colour basically so that they can be played directly out of the box with no painting whatsoever you don't need to paint them if you want to play this as soon as you get it but obviously painting these minis is going to be definitely a series we're doing here on the channel I'm just going to lower the camera now. Okay, here we are. Now, as you can see, we don't have full body um, minis. We have um, you know, like cut off at the mid thigh. So, who do we have? I'm bringing up the rule book and we have a character that you may recognize number one the mother based on Ripley and Newt from Aliens as you might be able to tell next we have the soldier if I can find him, which is the sh soldier, there he is, ready to take the pin of his grenade out of his mouth and lob it at somebody. And then we have the thief who, with his little bag, his shirt tie and nice little hat is all ready to uh, con somebody out of the money. Next we have the stripper who, surprisingly enough, has a chainsaw. Chainsaw. Not chainsaw, chain chainsaw. There we go. Why a stripper would need a chainsaw, I don't know, but she's got one. Um, now the minis aren't the best plastic minis I've seen but you know they're not bad in the line of um, detail I've seen much much worse detail next we have the preacher who is um, where are you where are you preacher where is the preacher? Bye. Have I missed any pile of plasticky goodness we have here? Hmm. The preacher, the preacher, the preacher. I can't see the preacher. Oh no. That is disappointing. We are missing we are missing a character. We are missing a character. The preacher is not here. Um, so 
I can't show you that miniature. I'm going to have to get in contact with um, Gameforger so I'll let them know that I'm missing the character. So let's skip the creature and go on to the lifeguard. If that isn't based on David Hasselhoff from Baywatch, I don't know what is. I need The people who designed these minis have a sense of humour. He's got a fish biting his bum. Oh hell yes. He's found a Nemo. Um, next we have um, the hero who is holding up his shotgun and his uh, chainsaw ha um, based on Ash from the Evil Dead movies as I mentioned earlier. Oh, yeah. That's the hero. Um, who is next? The Geek. He has his little laser gun. Not quite sure who he's based on. Perhaps somebody could tell me. <laughs> next we have the Fury. Leaning back. And the few is um, isn't. Ah, no, that is how it's supposed to look. How bizarre. I'm going to have to get the uh, card out again and have a proper look at this character. Um, because I'm not quite sure about that arm. Um, <clears throat> let's have a quick look through. I'll show you the card now because there we are. And that's her. As you can see, she does only have one arm, so it's not a miss mold. It is definitely, it is absolutely correct in its uh, <coughs> in its mold. There we are. Uh, then we have the doctor. We have two doctors, and we're missing a preacher. So I'm going to have to get in contact about that. We do have two doctors and we're missing a preacher. So hopefully um, we can get that sorted. There we are. Um, after the doctor we have the Huntress. Some Huntress. What's she gone hunting for? <laughs> That will take down a few deer. There we go. Uh, after the Huntress we have the Lovers, who are an uh, American football player and a cheerleader. After the lovers, we have the mechanic. It has a baseball bat. There and then we have the master. That needs to be straightened up a little bit. And then we have the girl. And now we have some fun trying to make sense of all this grey plastic that we have with us here. 
Oh joy. So we start off with the nightmare. And I'm just making sure that every one of them that we should have, we do have. Um, because otherwise I'm going to have to make sure that I contact them about more things that are not right with this. Um, yes. Okay, so we do have five. I'll show you one. There it is. I think I really am going to have to look and see if I can find some of these that I painted online because the poses are so bizarre. It's going to be so difficult to paint some of these, especially this one where there's a few, quite a few. Um, what you may call it, very, very um, tight places to get into. They obviously weren't thinking of painters when they made these models, unfortunately. But yeah, they all seem, for, you know, they all seem okay, except this one which doesn't have a base. Um, Okay, if I come across a base, it's with this and just need to go in back on. Um, this is probably the one Kickstarter project that I was really looking forward to getting. It's the one that I'm having problems with. And, you know, it's, it's disappointing. Um, as I am going to have to now contact about um, one having a, a base shot from one of the minis a missing mini and a double up of another it's disappointing but oh well never mind next we have the reanimated now these I can see um, a few of. We should have again five of these. And we do. We, uh, that's the reanimated. So we have five of them. This looks a little easier to paint. <laughs> um, and I'm going to enjoy painting them. Next we have the Whisperer. And we have one, uh, five, again, five of these. So we need to find the others. Um, Oh yeah, there she is. Found it. Okay, so we have the Whisperer. You may recognise this character from uh, the Ring. So we have one, two, three. Four and five. Next, we have the psycho. Uh, that's one, two, three, four, five. There we go. There's the psycho. Not quite sure who he's um, modelled after. <laughs> the 
himself. It does look surprisingly like a mask he's wearing rather than his own face. Based on Michael Myers, do you think? <laughs> oh dear Lord. So, this is going to be a long, long video, which is why I wanted to split the two. Um, next, we have the blob. This is one that's going to be a little bit tricky to find because there's one of them. Um, and I've managed to find him. There he is. The blob. Looks like me without the beard. <laughs> and yeah, that's the blob. Next we have the arcane. This is the arcane. Your werewolf. Yep. So I've got five of these. There's a lot of minis to go through. A lot of minis to go through. <laughs> uh, we haven't touched half of them. Mind you saying that we may have may have got about halfway through. You never know. Oh There we go, that's the arcane. Next we have the possessed. And he looks a bit of a strange kind of character. Um, actually will look quite nicely uh, in some form of um, Lovecraftian game as well. In this particular one. You'll see why in a moment. Um, I found the other one. I found all of them. He's got a tentacle coming out of him. And he looks like a Cthulhu cultist, doesn't he? <laughs> there we go. And if you look, he's got that little box. You quite often saw in the uh, Hellraiser movies. <laughs> um, next we have the Killer Toy. And but you can't guess who the killer toy is based on. <laughs> yes, Chucky. I'm just having a quick skim through to make sure everything is okay with the models. Um, I mean, we have had the one mishap with the um, Nightmare, which doesn't have a base. Um, I suppose I could always get into the base, but you know, I want it to fit in. So there's the uh, killer toy, and now the Firmungus. One, two, three, it's easy to find now. Four and five. I wonder if you can work out what these are. Is it critters? Like I said, don't be I told you in the previous video, don't be surprised when cult movie characters pop up in this game because it's all based around that kind of thing. Um, so all I have to do 
now is one, two, three, four, five, six more. And then we've got them all. Next we have the Xeno. And the Xeno is, as you might recognise, Pinhead. With all the pins, unfortunately. But very much based on Pinhead. Obviously can't use ex the exact likeness of the bulbs. But, there we are. One of those. Then we have the Demon. We have five of these. Two, three, four, five. There we are. Again, there's a lot of areas that's going to be tricky to get at with the brush. Um, that's the irritating part with these models, fortunately. Um, they look as though they're going to be in lovely to paint, but just trying to get at them. <laughs> Oh dear. So we have now a little bit of straightening up is in order with these with the blade. That's not a problem. Bit of hot water, it'll sort it right out. And next we have after the um, demon we have one from a very, quite a modern cult film series Sharknator or Sharknado as the film series is oh, yeah. <laughs> one of those next we have an aberration. We have five of these little beauties. But here's the aberration. The textures in these are phenomenal. I must admit, I really am impressed with the actual models themselves. The textures and things inside them are. Well, the textures on them are brilliant, but as I say, we've had issues, and um, that's taken some of the shine off a long awaited game because I really have been waiting for this since I think the Kickstarter finished in November 2015. Um, so you can see how long I've been waiting for it almost two years but I'm looking forward to getting this on the table to play um, let's have a look at two of them side by side they should be okay yep okay so that's uh, the aberration next we have the dimensional god be prepared for this one The dimensional god. Um, let's get close up first of all so you can see some of the gribbly bits on it. The gaping maw there. It's when you see things like this. And legs. Oh, excuse me. Legs and bodies sticking out and. You know, that's when you know you've got somebody creating these sculpts who has the sense of how a horror model should look. Um, there we are. Now we have some other minis here that as well, before we go on to the final one, um, that aren't actually listed in the book because I think these are stretch goals. 
and we have these ones which are, I don't know what they're called as yet, I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, if I find out later I can let you know. five of these. We should remember what it was called. There we go. And the other Kickstarter mini. Um, you may recognise this fella as well from a movie. Crow. And now finally, we have the big monster. Give you a clue. These are his face. These are his heads. His heads aren't attached because, if I remember rightly, this particular head is one of the Kickstarter backers who um, actually got a chance to design. Uh, or to be a part of this model so I could either use that one or that head I think I'm going to use that head to be honest because he's the evil one and he looks like that um, the aberration that you've just not the not aberration the dimensional god side by side the he, one of the hero characters one of the doctors yeah there we are and these are these are 32 mil minis this is a big bugger and he's standing on a pile of skulls and stones there's a leg popping out there Somebody's, somebody's back climbing up trying to escape. You've got people, it's, in fact, it's all limbs and skulls and bones. Oh, well, this is an absolute. I'm just going to. I'm just going to go on the base of this for the time being, just to have a look at what we have. Just, just take that in for a moment. Just take it all in. And then if I come down a little bit, there's his sword, his arm, that's it. The head will go on though eventually. He's got odd wings, however. You know, whether that's to do with the chains that are binding one of them, I don't know. Lovely. So there are all the miniatures. I'm going to put those away off camera because we have this box to open. Now. What did I do with my knife of opening? There it is. Let us use the knife of opening to do its job. And we have yet more plastic bits in here. We have this is scenic uh, whatchamacallit. We have a trap that you always see if it's horizontal, but as you can see it does move. I'm hoping you can see it moves. And what you have is a blade there hanging from a hook. 
I was wondering how they were going to do these. But quite pleased with the fact that they've done them so that they do move. Um, I am going to put a little bit of hot water on that and try and push that up so it doesn't keep falling off. But we have one, two, I'm going to put them all together, three, four, five of those. And then we have an assortment of bits here. A little bit of a door and mattresses, planks of wood. That doesn't belong. Um, <laughs> a broken chair. All completely out of scale, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those. We have all the blades for the. If I have a look at one of the blades, that's one of the blades for the trap. Not as ornate. Or as detailed as I was hoping it was going to be, but never mind. These aren't part of the actual game itself, these are just, well they are part of the game, you can use them in the game, but they aren't part of the base sets, these are add-ons that I've bought since. Can't quite remember what these are. I will let you know later on. It'll be down the bottom here what these are. And then we have portals. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten portals. There we go. You can see those. And that is it for Pandemonium. Now, as I say, I'm going to have to contact um, the company to make a complaint in regards to missing figure and a missing base but other than that I'm very very happy with everything I've got here and um, there were other add-ons I could have gone there was uh, an evil dice which re which um, replaced the standard six-sided dice in fact we haven't looked at the dice yet have we I just forgot about them um, these are the dice we have a, a normal six-sided dice. I could have changed that to a more ornate hard plastic one like these are, or soft plastic one like these are. Um, but I didn't see the point of doing that for more money. But we have these dice. You now they have skulls and they have slash marks on them. So, uh, there we are. What do they like to roll? Not too bad. I usually use both hands when I'm rolling. And drop. The fine. And that one's quite nice as well. They're a bit big and chunky, but they're not too bad. They're not too bad at all. So, that is it from Pandemonium. I just need to get into uh, complaint mode now. <laughs> But, hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, as I said, I had to split it because of the amount of minis that are in this game. I hope you understand why. And I hope you realise that uh, I wanted to do everything justice what I had. I'm going to bring this little fella back in again because I'm so enamoured by this model. Um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video videos that we've just done. Um, I hope you enjoyed this look, the look at these uh, miniatures. Some of them not terribly miniature. Um, until next time, as always, take care, God bless, and bye for now.